Hello my dear friend, I'm Milad Ishtiaghi and I'm here with the Rhino tutorial, let's go start it. I usually use uh, the software for my architectural project, uh, you know, most of my project I use with the software and really love it, uh, and that's why I decided to uh, have uh, and record uh, some tutorial of this project for you. So let's get to started, please uh, attention to here left corner here we have uh, the uh, most important places of the program here we have curve tools we can uh, create line and uh, polyline and uh, circle arc uh, surface tools we have also here we can uh, create surfaces uh, with three point or four point like this here we have solid tools uh, like i can uh, make a box here uh, or other shapes uh, and other uh, solid tools uh, that we can uh, use it for our project as you see we have a four view in the program uh, top perspective front and right okay if I uh, right click on this uh, any of one of these uh, will show this comment and the helpful comment uh, that you can uh, use shaded render that helpful uh, for us to our project to go through with it more better and we can use it uh, which can also give you uh, x-ray technical uh, of the project for example let's to create a box here as you see it's in wireframe but uh, here I can make it in shaded or in render as you see uh, it's helpful for, uh, for our projects and, and we can use it for our project of any one of these if we want it if you attention to the top tools we have uh, these uh, it's not create anything actually it just help you to uh, create your uh, things better uh, like it can uh, we can like tools hide tools or uh, any other of these and um, I will um, describe it um, in detail for you in the next stages also so okay let's go uh, to know that uh, how we can use our mouse in and uh, this stuff for okay if you want to zoom or zoom out you can uh, scroll your mouse on the point that you want to zoom or zoom out as you see in the each point that I uh, my mouse is uh, I can zoom in the in that point uh, like this so you can uh, use it for zoom out in each point that you need if you want to rotate in the perspective view, view uh, you can use your right click of your mouse and then you can like this rotate in the perspective view or in other uh, view uh, you can use the right click to pan like this it help you during your project here we have a snap tools uh, that we can uh, snap in the um, corner in the every corner that we need in, uh, or mid center on anywhere like this here we go, uh, you can start with a line if I turn it off Turn it on and we can have this in endpoint, uh, mid, center, and blah blah. Like this, uh, I can, uh, if I want to create another line, as you can see, it's a snap here, endpoint, or midpoint, or end. It will help you during your project. You can uh, snap anything to create your projects uh, or line more better okay uh, the auto tools here we can use it uh, turn it on uh, and if we do it we can have the uh, these in uh, 90 degrees uh, but uh, if i may turn it off i can use the same with uh, click press the shift button like this so it's b better to use uh, the shift rather than uh, you want to use the 
button, uh, auto button again and again. Uh, so as you see, I when I uh, click shift, I can uh, have this auto turn on, and when I not click on it, it's turn it off like this. Let's start with this polyline uh, here. Uh, as you see, we have polyline here, single line and polyline. Uh, in the polyline, um, we can have just a single line, and then the uh, job will close. But uh, with the polyline, we can uh, continue to our job uh, like this, uh, and also the the polyline will be join the line all of the and we and will not single line like this. So when I will start with the polyline, uh, the program tell you uh, to what to do if you uh, and this is very very help you to uh, if you don't know what to do. Uh, so the software tell you what to do, uh, but you when you get advanced, you will not use it at all. But uh, start your the Rhino in the basically is you will use it and will be so useful for you. Okay, uh, when I start of the polyline, uh, we can start with this point. Uh, next point of the polyline, the software told telling you uh, here and here. And if I uh, click enter and or click right click on my mouse, it will does uh, the, the same job like this. So uh, the job will be close. Please attention here, uh, in the software telling you if, if you left click on it, uh, you will have polyline. And if you right click, you will have line segment. Let's go to through uh, to get to know that what is the difference between this. If I left click on it, then I will have polyline like this. Then if I uh, right click, I will have line segment like this. This is the same, but what is the different? This is these the polyline is uh, join all our line are joined together, but these are not joined. Uh, as you see, it's single line. Okay. As you can see, we can uh, create uh, many solids here, or create uh, surfaces here like this. Uh, surface from three or four corner point. As you can see, if I uh, click here, uh, if I uh, click uh, enter or right click here, the job will be end and will close. Uh, with a uh, three point or uh, if I start it again I can create with four point okay now I can uh, create um, another software with a shortcut if I want uh, these uh, point go in the high I can uh, click uh, press control here and go in the high that I need uh, as much as I need like this and the next one uh, I not press in the control button uh, and I click here and click here again as you can see I have these surfaces here uh, as mm, you can see this point in is in the high or I can uh, create a lot another shapes and another solid here like this or this uh, sphere here with one point or a sphere with two point like this another one is uh, he, this shape solid uh, that I can uh, use it with two point and uh, another point I can create or another solid that you can see you can use pyramid or another uh, solid that you need uh, or anyone that you need you can use it or like this just this create and uh, I use it with my mouse click uh, left click and end it to job or I here I can use uh, these surfaces uh, 
surface from planner curve i will describe all of this for you in the next uh, stages uh, with like this for example i can uh, create a surface with just two points as you can see okay let's delete all of this okay everyone this was the uh, basically how to say hello to the software and how to uh, start to uh, the rhino software i will uh, record for you more and more stages of the rhino uh, to get advanced with the software so please uh, subscribe to my channel and also like this video and share it with your friend uh, and also comment your so on the comment button uh, i will uh, record more and more video for you and tutorial for you thank you so much for your time we'll see you in the next tutorial